Hello everybody, Epic Mewtwo here. We are back finally with another Buchigiri match video and I'm very excited about it. I've been wanting to make some content on this game and just generally play the game again for a hot minute now. I also have a guest with me for today's video. We have, oh boy, I don't want to butcher it already, me Klaus <laughs> <laughs> with us here today. Say hello. What's up, guys? What's up? Glad to be here. So uh, if you guys aren't aware, um, my man Klaus is in the Buchigiri Discord. He's one of the mods and, uh, in my opinion, one of the best players in the Discord. Don't tell me why I said that. <laughs> but... <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, um, I brought him with me here today because he is quite knowledgeable about the game um, and just is pretty good at, I don't know, analyzing cars, building decks, what you need to kind of make a video as such. So, yeah. <laughs> we're going to be doing it here yeah, together. Thanks. And Thank you for having me again, man. No problem. I uh, I know we've been trying to do this for a while, so I'm glad that we finally... Yeah, we've, um... yeah, we've actually... We actually talked about this, like, a couple of weeks ago, mm -hmm. but we never really found the time to really do it, but now our skills are just aligned, and here we are. Yep, we got the, the, the woke eyes. Also, the first anniversary definitely helped as well. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So, uh, it's... It's the right time for all this to happen. <laughs> right, exactly. Like you said, the stars align. Yeah. So yeah, today, um, like we kind of mentioned, the first year anniversary it is currently the first year anniversary of Buchigiri. Um, we're going to be yeah. doing a little bit of card analysis. We're going to be talking a little bit about the Annie, but the main purpose of this video, and hopefully we'll um, do some more videos like this in the future, um, yeah. is just to analyze the new cards that have come to the game whenever there's a new... Uh, uh, they're called Banner. Buchigiri Fests, right? Buchigiri Fest? Yeah. That's, that's what they're called, yeah. yeah. Buchigiri Fest. I was going to say, yeah. I don't, because I don't ever remember the official name of it, because didn't they not call it that originally? I'm not sure, but I think it's, I think since I've been playing, it's been called Buchigiri Fest. Okay. Like Buchigiri Fest exclusives and whatnot. Right. Okay. Well, either way, um, we're going to be talking about the new units. This one's going to be a little bit more of a thicker video just because the, uh, the yeah. anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Brought some yeah. <laughs> some new cards. Uh, we have four new cards actually to go over here today. Um, but we before have. that, yeah, we have, we have some. I mean, well, one of them's on the screen already. So I guess that kind of. Yeah. Oh, oh, well, to be fair, they're all in the thumbnail. So I guess that kind of. Yeah. Uh, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> tells you who's all in the banner who's yes. all new yes exactly yeah. so yeah but, um, um before we get to that you want to talk a little bit about the annie uh yeah so given since that this is the first annie we we've been giving like a new super world tournament for uh jiren so the banner unit is obviously going to be the mass that was goku and alongside that is the super world tournament for uh the full power jiren and in that, you have the chance to get the uh, full power Jiren if you uh, if you have the time to rank up to like <laughs> top five hundred. If you because suffer, it's such yeah. a grind. Mm -hmm. If you want to suffer, yeah, sure. Because this is not. It's like a world. It's like Super World T is a world tournament for Butchiri, right? Mm -hmm. So in this, you have to rank up. So top five hundred, you get the car, the unit. And with each win in the mission tabs, you also are you also are able to acquire cards that go well for the Jiren or for any Super World Tournament card. So, uh, yeah, if you have the time to grind for that, good luck. <laughs> yeah, good, good luck, luck indeed. I'm trying to pull up. Uh, yeah. I was trying to figure out how to get to the Jiren. I got it while you're talking in the background. But yes. Okay. Um, or no, it didn't. It screwed me over. <laughs> Thank you, Bucci. <laughs> I, um, I have the Jiren pulled up, though. Okay. Yeah, no, I just wanted to okay, get a picture so, of it, but yeah, no. So, so what the, go ahead, go ahead. Do you want to start with the? Uh, do you want to start with the Super World Tournament, or do you want to start with the uh, banner unit? I guess we're already here. Let's just do it. I was just gonna say, yeah, like you said, it's the um, rank five hundred. So that is, by the way, like I mean, I guess there's not really a. Is there a local? There is. I know two ranking systems. No, I don't. I don't really think there's a local. I think it's just like everyone, like all the players, just in one mm -hmm. match. I think. So but, yeah, our that, boy that, Jiren. That's here. what makes it so like hard, you know, because it's like it's just not us 
you know, the U.S. players who plays also like the, the Japanese side, you know? Right. So it's just, yeah, it's a huge task, but it's not, it's not too difficult. If you have the cards necessary, right, mm -hmm. then it's a breeze. But one thing about uh, Super Mario Tournament is that there are certain cards that give, like, boosts. And so for, so to build up your rank in Super Mario Tournament, you need to, like, have certain boosted cards to boost up the points that you get after every run. Mm -hmm. And that points boost up your ranking. So it's not, it's not too difficult, but if you have the time, like I said, it's definitely worth getting the Jiren. So, oh, definitely. Yeah, best of luck. Oh yeah. Here for an example right here, like I have this, um, this Android team set up. It is pretty nice. It tells you the percent boost, um, that the team gives you in total. Um, yeah. And then in your deck building screen, if you take a look at a card, here's just the first one. Oh, well, okay. Scroll on me. Thank you. Yeah, it'll it'll show it'll show you how much of a percentage boost that card will give to your to your deck. Right. So That's like, one of the nice updates that they brought to the game. Yes, you know, 100%. Like. Especially since it's so world tournament focused at the moment. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely very nice. Like, as you can see here, just on the screen, like, that Android 17 is plus 50. That, um, you know, big boy Gundam Fist <laughs> is the 100%. <laughs> um, we got the Beerus with the 30. So, yeah. it, it's uh, it's good to obviously use the boost because you get so much more so points. Many, yeah, you get so many points in World T yeah. for the World T shop. In the World T shop, there's just so much things that are useful mm -hmm. for like leveling cards and like limit breaking cards. Like in the in the World T shop, you can you can buy stones, you can buy like tournament like like what's the word I'm looking for? Like, the tickets, like yeah. Cards. Yeah, the tickets. A whole bunch of things right you can also buy uh i think you were thinking of like the world tournament exclusive cards like they have that kid goku it's taking oh yeah they do bit. have that too yeah right you can buy some other useful srs and um urs and whatnot so yeah we have all that in there um so i guess let's just go ahead and talk about the urine so yeah like we said okay yeah yeah top 500 mr worldwide is what you need to get <laughs> yeah Otherwise, uh, you're you're not gonna be getting too far. Yeah, I think um, cause there's like two tabs. Um, I think it's maybe like people that you fought before and how high they are. I'm not sure I what the other tab is. Yeah, I'm not sure either. But the that's um, one thing they don't really go into. Yeah, the main tab though, um, is obviously world or the uh, worldwide rather. As you can see, the top yeah. player at the moment has uh, three hundred and nine thousand points. <laughs> <laughs> so that's gonna be a little yeah. bit hard to beat um if any of you in the comments yeah. by the way um are currently in top 500 please let us know uh how your sanity's doing <laughs> yeah please do yeah and how do you manage to just go through this yeah how do you yeah, manage you know. indeed but yeah so let's talk about um the prize for your sanity <laughs> our, <laughs> our boy uh full power jeer in here jeer in. yeah so yeah All right, so you want to so go over right? go for Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can do it. Uh, so for June, right? June is AR... Let's see. Eight. Here. Yeah. yeah, he's your eight. Oh, and shout out to uh, Goresh for uh, his Twitch. Because doing this video will be very... It will be, be more difficult using it without it. But shout out to Goresh for the spreadsheet. It is very much appreciated. Just, just a thing. Him. So for yes. June, right? As always, shout out to the homie Goresh. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Goresh. <laughs> so Vajiran at max stat at level 15, his BP is 11,200. And that's the same for his HP as well, which is ridiculous. 11,200 is the... 11,000. That is ridiculous. That, yeah. but that, that's also for max level. So it makes sense but at the same time. That is... Wow. Yeah. You're not even talking about like boost from you might be getting from other cards. Mm -hmm. That is just insane by itself. So for his main ability, his main skill, it says active one reveal to opponent in series mode. Shoot in any easy way for five thousand if they are three or more enemy Goku, Frieza, or Android seventeen supporter, shoot an easy way for double the battle power it says. <laughs> So that is just <laughs> so okay, man. <laughs> right. So obviously, it's um you know sort of a reference to the end of the tournament of power with the Goku Frieza yeah. and seventeen. Yeah. Um, and then 
that last part is just so to be fair though that is kind of hard to get i mean the um shoot in yeah, energy is, weight yeah. of, of five thousand. obviously that just happens but yeah. um the double bp has to be um if there are three or more of goku frieza or 17 so keep in mind right um yeah that's not saying like three of them like all three of them have to be present it can be like two of them and then another one of the same or like three gokus or free uh three frizas whatever it may yeah. be so probably goku i would think would probably be the most common um for yeah because there's so many goku cards <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah no probably would be the most common effect but then you got to think that's uh, what would that be? Twenty two thousand four hundred damage. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's, that's insane. <laughs> that's so dumb. So if you're like, so if you're like in like top three, top five for a Super World tournament, you're most likely gonna have everything to like max them out. Most likely. So it's just it's insane thinking of the potential damage that he can do, and that's just the main skill. Like the the sub skill, I get into it now. The yeah, go for it. Is it's active when when burst is activated. Clash, win the AR decision, and at the end of that round, all ally universe eleven attributes supported gain one, eleven thousand BP. That is just crazy. <coughs> I'm like, coughing because it's so gross. <coughs> yeah, <laughs> that is so crazy and just mind blowing. So. We do have to take into consideration here. Um, at the moment, there aren't too many. Um... Oh yeah, there aren't too many Universe Eleven cards. Mm -hmm. But like, but like I mentioned before, uh, in the missions tab, after every run you do against the Jiren Super Tournament, um, you get you get rewards. You get uh, character units that go on. So, for instance, you can get. You can get the uh, Universe 11 God of Destruction Belmont, and you mm -hmm. can get uh, his Angel, and and they go so well with the Jiren. Mm -hmm. So, like I said before, if you are grinding, you would Yeah, he's no, worth, he's worth it. definitely, he he's definitely worth it. Um, and I can also see why he's a top 500 card because. <laughs> yeah <laughs> after, after working your butt off um you deserve a card that yeah. broken to be honest yeah truly, truly oh yeah there's also um i don't i don't remember her name but there's the other pride trooper that you can also get oh yeah i forgot her name i don't remember yeah. her name either yeah um or, yeah. but yeah you can you can also grab dispo as well he's mm -hmm. a part of it too um do have the picture in my phone i don't i don't have the other one so let's see how many is that total there's jiren topo dispo the pride trooper the angel there's... and then belmont so i guess that is seven cards yeah. oh yeah so that's that's more than that's that's your team right there in a, in a... yeah in a sense you there i'm sure there's other units that you could um fill in to kind of just yeah. you know i mean like even a unit you could throw a jammer in there you could throw someone who just boosts key anything really yeah totally yeah definitely so yeah he is uh he's pretty good <laughs> <laughs> he's pretty good so let's go ahead and talk about um the other units that we got during the um anniversary the which anniversary we have um, some really solid units here. Um, of course, very yeah. exciting units. Um, everything is sort of tournament of power themed, so we have MUI Goku yeah. joining the fray, um, as yes. well. The... What were you gonna say? The second. Oh no, I was gonna say the second UI. Yes. One of the third. There is a uh, a V jump exclusive. Mm, yeah, uh, actually, UI. I have that here. I can show it to you. Um, uh, look, lucky you. <laughs> <laughs> Flex it on him. <laughs> yeah here so there is the um he is a ar7 where's seven? my man at? yeah yeah ar7 there he is right there and ar7 yeah. um green um yeah. it, that's only omen goku though um yeah, yeah, yeah. the um the summonable one that I we think, have here let me scroll down too. i think he functions just like the ar3 uh ui omen goku the AR3, I think, is better. I think. Yeah, the AR3 one is a little bit better. Um, the AR7 one is good, but, I mean, since he is a free card, they obviously want to um, water him down a little bit, you know? Yeah, yeah. 
But yeah, anyway, here is the um, the other Omen Goku. This is the one from uh, when he's fighting Kefla, right? Yeah. So, although this one is, uh, I think I already said this, but this is the first mastered Ultra Instinct Goku in the game. Yes, this is the very first one. Yeah. So yeah, let's go ahead and talk about him. Okay. So, all right. just off, just off the base, what do you, what do you think of this card? Do you think he's like OP? Do you think he's balanced? Um. Do you think he's like underwhelming? Like, what, what's your thoughts on him? He. Well, see, here's the thing, right? Since it is the first anniversary. You always, I feel like, in any gacha game, just want to make the anniversary cards really, really good. Good, yeah, yeah. Which I think is just important because, I mean, obviously people want to summon and then during any gacha game's anniversary. Um, yeah, that's that's usually when all the, like, they bring all the new players. Right, new players, old players return, you know, people who've been playing for a while are even more excited to play. Um... He seems pretty solid. Um, I definitely think that he is good. I don't know if he's busted because, like, Jiren to me seems Jiren, like. <laughs> yeah, he's. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, you know. So. Yeah, he's yeah a monster. Because <laughs> the thing is. Especially the... if he was fully mad. He's just a monster. Right. Because the thing is, the only reason why I kind of hold them back a little bit is because the sub skill for him needs a specific enemy which yeah. granted it's is kind of restrictive yeah. right we, yeah it's good if obviously you're fighting them but if you're not um not, yeah right so here let's talk about it real quick so pat or his uh, okay. main skill rasp oh I, i'm thinking dokan i was about to say his passive skill yeah. <laughs> um right so his main skill is passive. Um, it's a support effect. So clash when the AR decision when a ally universe seven attribute card or ally Goku card activates. So basically, he wins the AR clash. <laughs> yeah, is, is the bottom line, right? Yeah. Um, there are a lot of a uh, few other cards that does the exact same thing. That if they clash, it's automatic. Mm -hmm. Like uh, like Father Son, Galaga, Future Chunks, and Vegeta. They SSBK have that does that too. Yeah, SSBK does that too. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of cards does that. So mm -hmm. it's nice to see they keep in that trend. Yes. Um, and then as well, this is obviously incredible. But um during that attack, give the attacking card um ten thousand BP if in serious mode, which is pretty yeah, gross. That is, yeah, that's pretty gross. Yeah. That definitely I I'd say makes him pretty pretty OP, but um yeah. do keep in mind, I, I, right? That's only yeah. if he wins the clash. Yeah. So if he just wins normally, right? Granted, his max um, HP and damage is still fantastic. It's um, 8,600. Yeah. 600, yeah. Right, but that's only I if he that's, ties. I think that's a good set, yeah. No, definitely. I 100% I agree. But that 10 per... Or 10%. That um, 10,000 <laughs> extra is only if it's a tie and then he obviously wins he wins. It, yeah. Right. So yeah, it's the same, yeah. It's just the same master. All the stuff, yeah. mm -hmm. So still very, very good. But again, situational. Yeah, still very good. Yeah. Yeah. Because you're not always gonna clash every time. Um, yeah. Anyway, though, sub skill, right? Activate when revealed to the opponents. So that's just when the card flips up. Um, if you're in serious mode, you can shoot an energy wave of four thousand. Bomber damage is always yeah. pretty nice. Um, yes. and then if there is a universe 11 enemy attribute supporter, shoot an energy wave for 12,000 12, instead. Yeah. So I think, I think his sub skill is really, really good, mm -hmm. but I don't think, but I don't think he, uh, MUI is that broke. I think he, I think he's balanced. Yeah. He's, I'd he's say he's pretty balanced. balanced. I mean, yeah. it's funny that we're saying that considering he does 10,000 plus with some of his stuff, but like, again, yeah. It's not going to happen every single time. Like with it's Jiren, time, yeah. right? You kind of have to like build up to that in most in most cases. Mm -hmm. But like with Jiren here, right? Most of the time you're going to have, you know... A Goku. You're going to be going versus a Goku or a Freezer. Right. Granted, there needs to be three, but still, Goku yeah. teams are pretty common. And then yeah. um, with his sub skill, it's a sub... Um, you know, an ally Universe 7... Or Universe 7. Universe yeah. 11 enemy rather than an opponent one which is harder to get yeah so 
Yeah, I agree with you. I definitely think that he is, um, he's pretty balanced. He's still very, very good, but he's definitely pretty balanced. Yeah, still very good, yeah. yeah. Like, if you're pulling for him, he's he's most definitely worth the pull. Oh, yeah, we'll 100%. Try and go for it. Um, I will say, just kind of like, n not related to, I guess, him specifically, but <laughs> I always think that it's funny that they give Goku's, like, even that far down in the timeline of Dragon Ball Turtle School. Like, yeah, I know, right? I, I understand. Like the same attribute. Right. Like, yeah. I understand, but at the same time, it's like, but why? <laughs> he's he's like so far past, you know, turtle school, you know. Right. Exactly. But I mean, I think it's a good, a good, like everything that's happened to keep that title to him, you know. Mhm. Mm so I think I think that's a good thing in a way. Yeah. I, sometimes I feel like they just throw it on there too because like I'm looking back at a couple and not every Goku has turtle school a lot of them do um yeah but again reason, just weird I like I think it's like because you know they use attributes sometimes as for as for like the future team so like say down down the line we may have like a, a car who, who boosts turtle school mm -hmm. in that instant you know in UI Goku useful you know right which is weird I, I, but yeah yeah which will be weird but it will be amazing true you have all these old throwback <laughs> characters and then you have mui <laughs> doing leading the charge damage. that's true <laughs> plus that would be so, a decent mix-up as well because they expect yeah a, it would be you know you know a little bit of like a uh you know like a dragon ball based team and that's like oh mui yeah. goku <laughs> Like not so long ago, like like say for instance, the world tournament team, like mm -hmm. the world tournament team in uh Dragon Ball, like right. That team in Buchigiri is so busted. Mm -hmm. Like like that um that Goku, I think it's like AR seven Goku, the one who's like headbutting the uh the adult hello. Mm -hmm. That card is so good. I yeah. hate going <laughs> specifically. Because it, it counters so much of what like my uh my main team does. Mm -hmm. So it's just so it's just nice to have those cards and those attributes that you can build upon. So Right. No, it's definitely. always a great touch having it. Yeah, of course. Alright. Oh, and if we forgot to mention, um you MUI is a bomber and Jiren is a uh, Oh yeah. Well he, yeah, they're, I, um, actually I guess we don't need to mention that because it's sort of implied. Yeah. But yeah. sometimes uh, it's not it's not for every card that their role leads so much into what they do. That's true. But obviously, but obviously, if they're a bomber, they're going to have some form of bomber damage. Right. Yeah. But not all cards have that. True. Yeah. That is true. Yeah. So uh, MUI Goku's main role is supporter, and then sub role is bomber, and then um, Jiren's is main is bomber, and then sub is attacker. Attacker. Yeah. All right. Um, you want to move so, on to seventeen? 17 MVP, MVP 17. I think they kind of did him dirty. <laughs> really? But, yeah, because he's very situational. If you read, like, what he like, really does, you know? All right, well, let's he go. Only, he only, like, yeah, let's go over it. <laughs> let's see. All right. He is. All right. Android 17, AR4. He's, he's green. His attributes are Android and. Seven. His main role are jammer and sub role is bomber. And his his main skill. Okay, his main skill is. Well, let me go for his stats. His main stats are six thousand hundred for BP and uh, HP. It's four thousand six hundred. Mm -hmm. Kind of low on stats, but uh, yeah, a little bit. Four. So he doesn't. He doesn't need to be overwhelming like the other. Right. Right. Let's go over what he does. Sorry. So for his main skill, active when AR is checked, reverse the AR decision if there are two or more ally universe seven attribute supporters, or your opponent plays a universe eleven attribute card with an AR of five or higher. So what this is basically saying is like he's only gonna be able to jammer like universe eleven cards for the most part. It's right. Unless you have and like well, because that's the thing. Who else has the Universe 7 tag? Because that's only with Tournament of Power. It's like you got to have UI Goku's, yeah, gotta basically. Have, yeah. But that's the thing about going back and what we were talking about about the attributes. 
that they can always expand upon true. later. So that right now, true. so right now, yeah, it doesn't seem as good because it isn't that many Universe Seven running cards. Mm -hmm. But later down the line, he might become way more optimal. No, definitely. And I definitely think him being AR four helps him being a jammer. I mean, obviously. Oh yeah, but... because. Oh yeah, because there's so many like AR like seven and eight cards that mm -hmm. it gets very like oversaturated. So them making like lower AR cards is just for the better. Right, really. good for jammers. Because I mean, there's some like AR five jammer, and it's like, but why? <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, um, there's one card. I think it's a Ginyu card. I think he's like an. Uh, oh, it's the AR seven UR uh, Ginyu, the body change Ginyu. He's a jam. Oh yeah, he's yeah, 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 yeah. And that makes complete. That makes like no sense <laughs> at all because he's so high up. And the point of jammers is like, if you play like a red right. card jammer, so say for instance, you play like a regular AR five jammer. If I play an AR eight card, that jammer is on the first. And win, you'll right? Be getting the yeah, yeah, you you'll be winning that class. So for him to be an AR seven, the Goof. only way you ever gonna get really gonna, <laughs> the only ever way you're gonna get like a, a, a jammer effect to go off is if you play it, if the opponent plays an eight, or if his passive still goes off like that. That Ginyu card is very. But, we love yeah. goofy cards, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, anyhow, um, sub skill for our boy seventeen, um, is active until the end of the round. Um, in super mm -hmm. serious mode, he inflicts explosion for, um, so this is kind of interesting. So for the number of universe seven allies on your uh, team, he does 2000. Yeah, he gets, he gets an, yeah, he gets an added boost of 2k damage, which is right. great. Like that part that like his sub, I think his sub skill is better early on for him right now than his mm -hmm. main skill, because there, you can make a universe seven team, mm -hmm. you know? So getting that off shouldn't, shouldn't be too difficult. Right. Now. right. A lack of... Like I said, that's right. There's a lack of cards. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, you just cut out. Oh my! my no, nah, you're good. No, nah, it's it's just Discord. It's nothing you did. Okay, but yeah, his his sub skill is really good. Um, that cause you can make you can get a lot of damage out of that. Yeah. Oh yeah. I did forget. Um, or I guess I didn't realize that Beerus is on Universe Seven. Oh yeah, the new beers that just yeah. Well, all beers, I think. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, well, I'm just saying that then that's another option for you. Oh yeah, definitely. Right, because it's I, what I really want to pull that beers too. I know. It was very interesting. Oh yeah. Like, I, I still don't really know what he does, but I can look at it. Now. Yeah, we'll look into it. But yeah, but, um, yeah. but so Len, I guess really it's just Beerus, um, Omen. MUI and 17 for Universe 17? 7 units, right? Yeah. Unless I'm for the, for the, forgetting for the, like, for the most part of it, yeah. I mean, there's there's some... Uh, yeah, oh, I'm sure, but yeah. I think, but I think for like the gist of it, I think that will be your core mm -hmm. for, for, for this set. Team because obviously, right, obviously. It's a different combo of teams. Mm -hmm. But yeah, if you were going for a strictly base Universe, Beers wouldn't be the worst off. He'd actually be like very good given how recent yeah yeah given how recent he is definitely yeah all but right i feel like 17 for sure got the low end of the stick starting out yeah like I said, that'll change no that'll i change. i can agree with you i definitely i definitely agree with you a little bit more now <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah he definitely got uh he got shafted a little bit yeah but, but yeah he's gonna come back he's gonna come back yeah. He's the MVP. You, you have to <laughs> he's the MVP. That's why he's going to come back. <laughs> he has to come back. Oh, yeah. But anyhow, um, let's go ahead and move on to our final unit, uh, Topo. Um, oh, yeah. He is also very good. Um, by the way, I just scrolled through the, uh, the 17 banner while we're scrolling to him on the information. I figured I'd just scroll through the banners just because. Um, okay, yeah. Also... Um, oh, there is also that new SR uh, AR one Super Saiyan Goku. Oh yeah, we can we can go over him. If yeah, we can want. if we want to if we have time. We're we're going a little bit oh. long, but there's a lot of information to go over, so it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah. 
so topo is the final you are uh introduced for the first anniversary right now um we are yeah, currently right now right which which is uh uh-oh <laughs> i mean i mean like because the anniversary started and we are just i want to say like last night maybe or the morning before we had a live stream for the game just mm -hmm. talking about so much stuff they're gonna bring for the uh for the game coming this anniversary so they just announced that a story mode will be coming so that'll be coming after that they also every week every week there are a new event like a new old like an oldish event will come back Mm -hmm. so that's that's nice so they, they may even add in like some bujigiri cups to get you know some more some new cards mm -hmm. some new cards just new cards right and not only that gogeta like, is so also many. coming yeah and plus oh, yeah we also have a new gogeta like a fusion band to get. right just like how the uh the, the goten and the go and the, and the kid trunks work how you play one card and you play another version of that character they fused mm -hmm. we're gonna have that exact version right from the except with a gogeta yeah so that is interesting we have we don't know uh we don't have a date from that but that's mm -hmm. it's also base gogeta which is weird because yeah, i is. mean i guess it makes sense because we we have um base super saiyan and blue already in the game yeah, we do, yeah. Funny enough, I just realized base and Super Saiyan are in the um I mean, the thing for the video. <laughs> I mean it could it could uh it has it could have a chance to be like a limit breaker like type car that could transform. We don't know that yet. Oh, Dude, maybe, a limit oh, breaker fusion? Sure. Oh yeah, that would be great. Right? That would be sick. But I think that's kind of too much in a way, because that's so we have to do the fusion dance just to get the go to it. Right. They'd have then, to balance it. Then, yeah, they'd have to balance it. Yeah, definitely. But have him being a limit wouldn't be too out of Right. I don't think so. It would be very so. interesting. Plus, it it's the Annie, yeah. so, you know. Yeah, it's an anniversary, so, yeah, you know. Yeah. It's, it's during this game where you want to try, like, different Right, exactly. Uh, but yeah, anyhow. That would be a first. Yeah. It Anyhow, first. yeah, I don't mean to push you along. I just because oh, no, we're it's, already it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, we're going long, and I don't want to make them sit <laughs> here forever. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you for watching uh, this okay, far, okay. Fiha. Yeah, thank you. Anyhow, um, Topo. So, so going back, yeah, going yeah, back yeah. To Topo. He's also God of Destruction, Topo, which is weird because we don't have a normal one yet. I know. Um, Buchiguri has like that thing to where they just jump across every like, arc in <laughs> that's saga true that is the true whole, throughout the whole franchise so it's very interesting that they do that mm -hmm. there are a lot of cards that we don't have like we don't have like a buhan okay mm -hmm. like, we have a we have a sr boot, but we don't have like we don't have a ur boot. we have like a boot, you know right we don't have like a lot of cards there's so, um but there's not even a is there a Super Vegito? I know there's a blue, and then doesn't there, the fusion there, one there go is to... a, um, There is, there's, um, there's a fusion, like, there's a Protara Goku Vegito that right. turns into a, uh, base Vegito, but there is also a Super Vegito base. He's ARA, you no, know, yeah, ARA blue Super Vegito. Okay. There's a, I think someone... he's the main one you need for the, uh, for, like, a Protara deck. Yeah, oh, he's, he's yeah, blue. isn't he AR7? He is okay. I th no, he's ARA. The the uh, no, he is a. You're right. I know who you're thinking about. Yeah, yeah. I think the fusion. I think the, the one that comes from the fusion of Goku and uh, Vegeta. I think he may be like AR seven. I think. I think so. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyhow, but there is a uh, Super Vegeta. Yeah, definitely. Um, Topo is green. So he, he's got God of Destruction, Universe Eleven, and Pride Troopers, which is cool um yeah main role is uh supporter and then his sub role is striker bp max is 6600 uh, again a little bit of a shaft for my man but his skills yeah, kind of make yeah. up for it yeah 
I um, think I think that's that's a that's a max stats. That is kind of low for a god of destruction topo. Though. Right. I, why is why is yeah. one man god of destruction topo getting shafted in every gacha game? Hello. Maybe because he got washed by. <laughs> true. <laughs> true. <laughs> but I, <laughs> I mean, yeah, they they do need to put a little bit more respect on him because he's a god of destruction. Like, right, and he's so they, powerful. Uh, yeah, he's so powerful. It's like so that's like that's like saying like imagine they make a Beers card, right? Mm -hmm. And he's just so underwhelming. Like say in theory, Beers got washed, right? Uh, there would be like no way to like undo that. <laughs> see, yeah, that that struck a chord with me because that was literally Dokkan until they came out with LR Beers. I know, right? <laughs> Sad boy hours. But anyway, max HP. Sad boy hours. <laughs> big <sure>. sad boy <laughs> hours. Max HP is 6,100. Um, would you like to go over the main and sub skill? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Go for so it. So for the, for the main skill, uh, it's a passive. So for passive support effect, so when he's already been used and he's in the support area. Mm -hmm. Awakening, reduce the damage received from explosion and energy wave by 10,000. And he can do this up to three times. Um, SS3 go to he has whenever he transforms, he has something similar to that where he can block them up to 12,000 damage. So that's actually a really good skill because being able to take damage with cards like Jiren <laughs> is very helpful. Yes, <laughs> you can like a lot of cards if set up properly can just two shot you or even one shot. Mm -hmm. you. I was, I was just gonna say like this is amazing oh yeah and i was just gonna say the three turns per battle i think is balances out a little bit better because you got to think well that's yeah. all bomber and energy wave damage or well explosion yeah. i wish it's called bomber but um yeah it's the same same thing yeah but ten thousand is a lot so if it's lower than that just nothing happens um yeah and then now obviously you gotta take like a minor hit of it, maybe but right thousand should be like at least a right and the, yeah so like for an example that like you said with jiren you might be taking a little bit of damage but it won't be too bad but three turns um like after three turns of bomber or energy waves that could be a battle over already yeah you can easily get one shot right 100 percent. so yeah right. definitely good but anyway right. sub skill go for it so for sub skill it's all right active one versus activated clash so during during clash, when the AR decision and during that attack gain BP five thousand for each ally universe eleven support supported in this round. So if you have more you are uh universe or meaning like already you're gonna get a huge boost for your attack. Right. If they're already used, is that what you said? Yeah. Yeah, that's just that's with uh that's what for support means. So in, if they ever if right. Says, or mm -hmm. it means the card already has right 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 already has to be played because then yeah um if they're just sitting there um then they don't count so he would yeah. be really good to play on the last turn um yeah if he, you can set he that is, up so he is kind of a card yeah he's kind of a card set up because let's see if but... you have because we established already that there's only seven universe 11 uh characters in the game yeah, yeah there's only like a handful of universe level so let me see so if that was um so he would be the six ones that'd be six times five thousand he could do thirty thousand damage yeah it's it gets, it gets <laughs> oh out my. Of all right never mind he's good <laughs> yeah. he's fine yeah, he doesn't good. need better stats <laughs> he's fine yeah probably not yeah Ooh. <laughs> I was player. thinking about that. I was maybe, doing the math. Maybe like, they did. Maybe they did put some respect. <laughs> yeah, maybe, <laughs> maybe they did put some respect <laughs> on my man's name. Yeah, which is good because his Dokkan kind of part is very underwhelming. Yeah, it's a support so, card, which doesn't make sense for his character. Yeah, it doesn't make sense, and especially for him to Dokkan awaken into God of Destruction. Mm -hmm. So that doesn't make any sense per se. No, hundred percent not. Yeah. um and it i is, honestly yeah no no i was just gonna say like i think that that i don't know maybe this is a stretch but the the five thousand with every ally i feel like just kind of emulates you know how he's just firing off all the key blasts in the tournament of power 
Yeah. I don't oh, know. Yeah, that's, yeah. You kind of so, see what the see, connection. I see, I see what you're going, man. Yeah. Going. Yeah. So, mm. I don't know. I guess he is good. <laughs> just, just, just like, I'm just, just thinking just overall what they did with Coco now that we've gone over it. They, they did an actual good job with him. I don't, I don't think there's too much that I would change about him. Do keep in mind. He's, he's, he does crazy damage. Oh, like yeah. You, like you're saying. Right. No, no, I was just going to say, do keep in mind for that crazy damage, though, he does have oh, to yeah, win the clash, him. which is a tie. Yeah, right? he does need to win. Yeah, yeah. So, that, I I don't know. I guess you would call that situational. Um, yeah. I mean, the, I think one huge aspect of the game is, like, throughout each round, if you win the round, you get the key. So, you also have to take that in effect of how much key you have mm-hmm. by the time you want to play, like, uh, Coco. So, if you have a lot of key, you can just boost his AR to just a high number and always win. But you also have to think. You have to think right. Because, you know, RNG in this game, it can either go your way or you could just be pulling, like, you can just be using your low AR card back. True. Without without getting any high number card. True. Yeah, you could <laughs> you do it over heavy with that. Oh, hundred percent. So yeah, I don't know. I think um, I think he's pretty good. He's sort of, uh, I oh, guess yeah, he's definitely. sort of like MUI Goku in that way. Yeah, I think he's. I think he's kind of balanced. I don't think he's. I don't think he has that one thing that pushes him above everyone else. Right, Jiren's definitely so, the most disgusting out of everything that we. Oh yeah. At. Oh yeah. Definitely. <laughs> yeah, which is funny because he's, he's free technically. Yeah, he. He is sexy if you have the time in the, the sandy <laughs> sandy. grind for him, yeah. <laughs> Dang, even yeah. your wallet can't save you now. <laughs> yeah, even your wallet can get you this unit. <laughs> you have to put in the time for uh, yeah. that card. Crazy. But, but yeah, um, yeah. that, I, I mean, so just, just to kind of wrap up in terms of um teams that you could use these guys on um 17 is definitely more suited for your universe 7 cards i think 17, yeah most definitely um while they are more universe 7 cards out mm-hmm. there because there's there's an endless number amount of goku and vegeta cards mm-hmm. there, but you could easily make it seven more so than uh, 11 black i miss you i mean That'll, that'll change. Right, that'll change, definitely, definitely. Um, and I mean, you granted... Have the, yeah, no, you can go, you can go. No, I was just going to say, granted, if you do really, really grind it out for that Universe 17, you can get seven total. Oh, yeah, totally. So, if anything, you're already on the right track. Granted, um, I don't think that the Angel and the other Pride Trooper are, like, anything special. I mean, I guess you don't really need it with Jiren on the team. Um... um <laughs> the angel she's actually very good she, she works exactly she works exactly like um era four super saiyan uh gogeta to where he, oh, okay. he takes away the uh, your, he takes uh, away the what she's she i'm gonna look it up right now mm. uh she okay. she so purple ar so purple rare era one my uh mart mart I forgot how you say the angel's name. Yeah, I don't remember. But, um, it's all good. But um, her main her main skill is um, supporter, passive, ignore the conditions of serious and awaken for all Universe Eleven cards to activate their skills, which is fantastic. So that and just her- activates them without needing to lose energy or HP, rather. Yeah, like whatever the requirements are for all these cards to get their skills off. If it's in serious mode or awaken. She just takes that out of the equation. So, do so you play her just... first? What? <laughs> in yeah, in in theory, yeah, he should be able to just do what he does. But I I, I would imagine still that. A little bit. So, doesn't that make him like actually broke? Yeah, that's that's pretty. <laughs> yeah, it is. And then for her sub skill, it's supporter, and passive support effect heals six thousand life points at the end of the round. Wow! If a universe eleven card. Uh, crashes. So if he, uh, if he does, I'm, 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 I
Wait, say that one more time. You cut out. Oh, I, I was saying that. Uh, I from that from her sub school. I get I get from that that um, if you do a clash with the universe with eleven card, mm -hmm. that she will heal you for six thousand life life points, which is great. That's one thing in which degree I think we don't have that many of is is healers. Mm -hmm. I can agree so, with that. So healers, yeah, healers are, are they're starting to become a must. But given Especially, the day yeah. cards now, yeah, <laughs> yeah, healing is going to be a huge factor in the future. I would guess. Is but it yeah, bad? I kind of want to go for Jiren now. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, but um. But uh, I can I can go over um, Belmont if you want to. That's but, okay. Um, if you want. <laughs> but um, yeah, he's he's kind of decent as well. Um, purple rare AR two Belmont. His uh his characteristics is uh, God of Destruction in Universe Eleven, and his main his main skill is Supporter, so passive. So uh Support effect Awakening and Seal. Both players can't return cards. With the, uh. End of attack. Wait, his 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 skill is kind of weird, like the wording of it. Mm -hmm. But with the gist of it is that you can't return cards to your hand, basically. So and he his, does he counter MUI or he, Omen then rather? In a way, yeah, because um, AR two uh, normal uh, Mr. Popo, mm -hmm. he also has that a seal effect to where. He blocks any and all cards returning to your hand, so he counters the uh, the UI Omen Goku. The uh, three counters him. So hmm. how that Goku would dodge, and then after he dodges, he turns back to your hand. He stops that completely. Interesting. And he does it for he does it for your hand in the opponent's hand. So I'm guessing it's the same thing for uh, Belmont as well. And for his uh, his sub skill, it's a booster. So active at the end of the round and in serious mode, bond with Jiren. Randomly, randomly choose one green type gear in, in your in your card. <laughs> oh, randomly. And trade them in, and trade them in for another card in your hand. So I'm guessing he, I'm guessing he takes one card and he swaps it. He swaps it out for uh, the AR five uh, gear or either the full power gear. Either one of the. Gear. Klaus. <laughs> yeah. We're so stupid. We forgot what? about the AR five gear. <laughs> Oh. So there is eight <laughs> characters on the universe alone. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> when you said AR5 Jiren, I was like, wait a minute. I mean, oh, well, no. well, I, I, I had the Jiren in my head the whole time. I just, I was just so focused on the new unit. Right, it never right, really right. Popped up into my head. <laughs> now we're trying yeah, to justify is, it so we don't get clowned is. on stuff. <laughs> it's too late, man. It's already yeah, game, it over. <laughs> game over. Game <laughs> over. I mean, I mean, if, if people are already playing the game, and they see the jury in the game, I'm pretty sure. Well, like, right, they know. Yeah. If they if they put in if they put in the time, I mean, they'll know what the card does. I mean, we could go over them if we want, but we can do that in like another yeah video, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, no, you can definitely do that. <laughs> but yeah, we video. can freely skip over him. I mean, granted, he is like an old. He's like he is like an older uni came out with the first in you uh the, with the first UI Goku. Mm -hmm. So. There isn't that much he said about him. But right. We can go is, over them in is, another one, too. Like, their own dedicated yeah. thing if we want to. We could go back and do some older cards if you really wanted to. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But that Jiren is very good. He's a very versatile card. You could probably put him on any team. Yeah. And he'll work perfectly. Um, real but, quick, since we kind of went over Topo and um, Jiren's team, and we also kind of went over 17 um yeah let's just talk about other teams you could run me i go because 17 i think is kind of self-explanatory it's like universe 7 yeah, or i guess androids 7, yeah. he could just kind of maybe throw them in there <laughs> but um mui i feel like has a lot of options because obviously you could run them on universe 7 but yeah but you can also just pair him up with other cards mm -hmm. saying like yeah you can pair him up with another seven sure deck right more red um if you have a red deck he could definitely work with that oh yeah for sure yeah he, oh, he's gonna be godly for like a uh he's gonna be very useful for like a mono red uh mm -hmm. if you're going with a mono load of theory which <laughs> 
that is a grind. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm still doing it like right now. But we can we can touch on the ranks and all. Say that one more time. You're cutting out a little bit. Oh, I was saying that we could like touch on like the mono challenges or ranks and all that in another video. Yeah, like, definitely. Yeah, to go into that. Yeah. Right. Because that in itself is a lot. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not a lot, but it's it's kind of a grind. Yeah. Like I'm I'm kind of halfway through it, really. Really? Only halfway? Okay. Well, I don't I don't I even mean, know what you're talking about to be honest. So. I, was, <laughs> I mean, I, I so for so in rank there uh. To, to get into unranked, the highest rank in the game, mm -hmm. you have to set a challenge. And for, for the most part, it's a mono challenge. So you have to win. Oh, with a mono team. Okay. Wins. Yeah, you have to get 50 wins with each mono color team. Hmm. But for each team, well, something that most people do, uh, you can use at least five. It has to be at least five. Oh, it has to be only at least five? Yeah, at least five. So that leaves you with like three slots to put any other card, any, any other color card. Interesting. To work with. So I have, so all of the missions can include uh, each color. So it's blue, red, green, yellow, mm -hmm. and purple. So all those, you have to get 50 wins. All those. Wow, that's, that's a lot. lot. What do you get for that? It is a lot. Um, there's, there's certain rewards you get for that. You get like an avatar, a Krillin avatar. The yellow, you get, and you get a girl, a kid Gohan. Hmm. Oh, cool. the really good kid Gohan card. No, it's a, it's a, it's an avatar. Oh, oh, I thought you said card. For um, for purple, I think you can see that you get a uh, it says G card. For green, you get a U R beard. You are seven year, you are eight year beard. Mm -hmm. Three year. And that's if you that's if, that's if you complete the uh the green and i think i think for yellow i think if i didn't go over yellow yet you get a uh you are spear bomb the u.s spear bomb go book gotcha yeah yeah, yeah. So yeah right. that's that's really the just of it and once you complete all the 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 rank mm -hmm. then you get like you get like thousand all of it and then that's when you enter the uh the tier nine rank and that's where you actually start to rank against among all the high ranking players the gods so of buchigiri yeah the gods of buchigiri i've played uh, against against a lot of <laughs> like they have some of the most decked out teams ever trust me when i say that they are <laughs> they are incredible and that's why I brought you on, because you're the only one I know that's even be able to beat them. <laughs> but anyhow. Yeah. Whew, that was a lot. I hope you guys... Yeah, uh, it I, was. <laughs> I, hope, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, all of the information, the analysis. Klaus, thank you for yeah. being here and <laughs> experiencing yeah, this. Thank, thank you for having me. No problem. We will definitely um, try to do more of these in the future. Um, yeah, most definitely will. Our goal is to try and do this whenever new cards come out. Um, yeah. Obviously. Just explain them for people who don't fully understand. Right, yeah. And also just to kind of give our thoughts and analysis, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah. Tell if you should pull or you should save. Or right, exactly. And you can kind of determine that or you can kind of determine if, you know, you have maybe the team that would work with it or whatever it may be. Um, yeah, but all in all, uh, once again, shout out to for the translation. Like I said, this video would have, it would have been a tad bit harder to do without it. <laughs> yes. No, with... big shout out, big shout out to him. Yes. Oh. And, uh, there's also, there's also a the Discord. Okay. Is that what you said? Because Discord, Discord yeah, is Discord, yeah. denying you promoting the Discord. <laughs> But yeah, there is a Discord for uh for any any. Yes, if you need help to help out. Yeah, yeah, definitely come through. We're both uh we're both mods on the Discord, so if you wanna um yes. come through. So if you ever need something, just just pop into one of the channels. Come through, Add. we'll help you out. Yeah, just talk. Yeah. Yes, definitely. It's a great community over there, and um also yeah. too, 
the uh, the translations from the Homie Goresh will be in the description below if you guys want to check them out for yourself. Um, yes. Obviously. Uh, his his spreadsheet. His spreadsheet is what? Well. He's also. I was saying that his spreadsheet is also going to be in the Discord as well. Yes. So if course. you're in the Discord, it'll be there. So just be sure to check every check. Definitely. You there? Right. Yeah, I think that's like a one question we did. Yes. What does this card do? Check the homie Goresh. He has you covered. He's yes. done. So shout out, shout out to Goresh. Yes, of course. He's done every card in the game thus far. So. Yes. Yeah, he's definitely the hero that we don't deserve. <laughs> <laughs> and, and going about like, updating the spreadsheet, the rest does that on his own. Right. If there's if there's a new card that's not there, I suggest just waiting for whenever the rest has the time because he's doing this of his own, you know, fruition. You know, he's doing it because he wants. It. Right, and he don't is. Be a, don't be a dick in this. Yeah, no, I mean, he's pretty good about updating it, um, yeah. quickly anyway, but yeah, no, he, uh, yeah, obviously don't go bullying him for the new yeah. translation, but, um, nine times out of ten, he updates it pretty quickly, so. And we also have a translator in the Discord, too, so just be wary that, you know, they're taking Right, definitely, it's definitely. Yeah. That. Yeah. yeah so. so anyway, PSA over. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> <laughs> we really yeah, thank appreciate you. Thank it. Thank you very much. Um, Thanks again for having me. You're welcome. No problem. If you guys uh, enjoy, definitely let us know in the comments section below and give us your thoughts on all the new cards. I know this one was a little bit of a long one. These videos will probably yeah. be um, shorter in the future just because obviously there won't yeah. be as many new cards to go over with, you know, the whole first anniversary and this being the first video, there was a lot to talk about. Um, so thank you all for sticking with it. I appreciate it. You got any final words before we dip, my friend? Uh, no. Uh, just general thing. Yeah, I got you. Uh, yeah, if you didn't hit me up, we couldn't have done that. So, just, yes. just a thank you to you. Oh. That's all. Yeah. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. And also, I, I co this completely slept my mind. My man Klaus's Twitter is in the description if you want to follow that as well. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, thank you. Uh, feel free to follow me. Yeah, definitely. Anyway, questions you may have about the game there. So yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. He'll help you. But anyway, see you guys in the next one. Having you two out. Peace. Yeah. Peace.